So China is now threatening the United States and President Xi Jinping is warning President Biden to not interfere and don't get involved. Now, I'm gonna address what's going on here and why this is breaking news, what has just happened and how this is putting more pressure on President Biden to handle all the situations and all the crises around the world. For instance, this Russia against Ukraine war and Israel versus Hamas. These have to be fixed and resolved soon. Now, I'm going to address what's going on and why President Biden is pretty worried at this time and why Democrats say they have to do something now. So, I will address what's going on there. All I ask is one thing. It takes two seconds. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy these daily updates. And now, let's begin. So for the past two months, we have heard the same thing over and over again, that the United States needs to stay strong, that our military cannot back down and we cannot look weak. Well, it's starting to kind of unfold. And now we're getting these reports and we're getting some statements from officials that are telling us what we need to look out for. Now, previously we've seen the warning signs that yes, the FBI is telling us this is the highest threat level we have been in decades. That's concerning. We know Homeland Security is telling us the exact same thing. And now we're seeing all these reports from Border Patrol saying that more illegal immigrants are coming into the United States and we have no clue who they are or if they are potentially on a terrorist watch list. That's concerning. Well, here's what China is doing. And I want to explain this is, this is huge. Listen to this, just look at this. So Xi Jinping warned President Biden during the summit that Beijing will reunify Taiwan with China. Says the Chinese leader's message in San Francisco got the attention of US officials because it was delivered at a meeting that was, was intended to reduce tensions. However, it did the complete opposite and raised tensions between the United States and China. Here's why. China is committed to reunifying Taiwan with mainland China, and they will not stop until that has been accomplished. This is very similar to what Russia intended to do with Ukraine. The only difference though, is with Russia and Ukraine, again, the United States, you know, yes, we knew this was something that was possible, but at the same time, we were not gonna jump into this fight. According to President Biden, he is willing to jump into a fight with China if China attempts to take Taiwan. Well, here's what we know. China, their plan is not to just go and invade Taiwan. They're subtly increasing military pressure on Taiwan. And the reason for that is their goal is to slowly wear Taiwan down. That's the plan, wear them down. And in the same time, the United States and our military is so spread out. Think about what's happening over the past couple weeks or even a couple months. We're sending more munitions and equipment to Ukraine. Congress is currently contemplating a $100 billion bill to send additional funding and assistance to Ukraine as well, plus to Israel and humanitarian aid to Gaza. So we are sending money and munitions to Ukraine, attempting to do the same thing with Israel, at the same time, we now have to protect the Red Sea because the Houthis in Yemen are attacking ships. Yes, that is concerning. But again, all this is happening while China is getting stronger. And I addressed this last week and I said Russia was getting a little bit weaker. And the United States getting a little bit weaker because we are sending so much equipment and our lack of funding and Congress being in a complete disarray. That's a problem. But China's getting stronger. While Russia and the United States are getting a little bit weaker, China is getting stronger. Yeah, that's concerning. Now, I want to read you a few of this, uh, a little bit of this article, okay? Because when the president of China, Xi Jinping, comes out and tells President Biden that they are going to, at some point, reunify Taiwan with mainland China, it's concerning. But what has China been doing here in the United States. China is buying up farmland. 
China is sending uh, technology and equipment here to the United States, for example, in our ports. We now have cranes that are operated and in, in, they're running off of Chinese systems. Yeah. We now know China has hacked into uh, different uh, parts of our infrastructure here in the United States. Some are saying, and this is coming from uh, the FBI as well, is that more Chinese nationals are coming into the United States, are being allowed into the United States. They aren't being sent back. Some say that's concerning. What are they doing here? Why? We know there's some Chinese companies that are buying uh, large pieces of land near military bases. Yeah, again, concerning. But what do we do with that? There are some lawmakers that are saying that we should ban all Chinese nationals and companies from being able to purchase land here in the United States. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think? Is that something that we should do? Let's go ahead and read some of this article. It says, Chinese President Xi Jinping bluntly told President Joe Biden during their recent summit in San Francisco that Beijing will reunify Taiwan with mainland China, but that the timing has not yet been decided according to three current and former US officials. I wanna jump in here really quick. One of the reasons why, and reports are indicating that Xi Jinping has not decided when he plans to reunify Taiwan with mainland China is because he wants to do this when the United States is at its weakest point and China is the strongest. This may be one of the reasons why Russian President Vladimir Putin wants to talk to the United States and Europe about Ukraine because if Russia can pull out of Ukraine and just be patient, could China and Russia join together to potentially combat the United States and whoever jumps in to protect Taiwan? Again, this is concerning. It says, Xi told Biden in a group meeting uh, attended by a dozen American and Chinese officials that China's preference is to take Taiwan peacefully, not by force, the official said. Goes on to say, the Chinese leader also referenced public predictions by US military leaders who say that Xi, uh, Xi Jinping's plans to take Taiwan in 2025 or 2027, telling Biden that they were wrong because he has not set a time frame, according to two current and one former official briefed in the meeting. Says so Chinese officials, and this is I think is interesting, also asked in advance of the summit that Biden make a public statement after the meeting saying that the United States supports China's goal of peaceful unification with Taiwan and does not support Taiwanese independence. They say the White House rejected the Chinese request. The tensions from between the United States and China before this meeting were high. After this meeting, just elevated. And after seeing everything that's happened over the past two weeks, tensions around the world have increased as well. This is one of the reasons why some are saying that what China is doing right now is trying to set up the United States in a way that they could uh, not just attack, but invade and, and reunify Taiwan with mainland China, but where the United States couldn't afford to jump in and protect Taiwan. That's what we're hearing. Now, what's interesting about all this stuff that's happening is over the past few weeks, actually over the past month, we have seen more reports that President Biden is sitting back. He's waiting. And I talked about this the other day, how some saying that he is he's in a in a corner, just being a coward, waiting, hoping other countries will step up. Okay, but now these reports are indicating that President Biden may be waiting because that's his only option. He's hoping other countries jump in and fight for Ukraine, fight for Israel, fight for the Palestinian people. Not just the United States, but other countries do it so that the US can conserve our weapons, can conserve uh, our people, and can be ready in case and when China decides that they plan on reunifying Taiwan with mainland China. Again, a lot of stuff is happening right now. All I can tell you is the threat levels right now around the world are probably the highest they have been in many years, probably three, four, five decades. It is up there. So 
We will see what happens moving forward. All I can tell you is I will be here every step of the way. I'll fill you in on all the latest news and updates. All I ask is two things. First, hit the like button on this video if you enjoy these daily updates. Second thing, click that subscribe button so you never miss an update. And I will see you guys on the next one.